So we're in, in Limington. What's it? Key Keyhaven. Keyhaven. And uh, looks like somebody's waiting for food. They're not gonna get any. Got nothing for you. And uh, you've got this like sandbank which goes all the way from up there, Milford on Sea. And uh, I didn't know they let MILF go on the sea these days. So, uh, yeah. Hello. They're managing to uh, maintain position quite well in uh, fast moving water there. Aren't they? Hello. Hello. <whistles> Not interested. Just interested in food. But here we are here with Hidden History with Ray. And we're here with a wet wet puppy dog. <laughs> and lots of other puppy dogs. And we're going for a walk up on the uh, on this beach thing that goes right out to the closest point to the Isle of Wight. That is not a hill you see in the distance. There's water and then the Isle of Wight. So this little sort of jutting out of land and sandbanks and uh, uh, what would you call these things here? Flats, marshland, yeah, marshland. Um, it actually goes out, it's protecting these boats which moor up in here from the nasty waves of the solar which can get a bit rough at times. So that's why they're sort of sneaking in here to, to put their boats and uh, we'll see some of the rough water that comes through this gap because this is a tight pinch point. So all the water that's coming through has to super speed it through there. There's some nasty currents there. And there's the Isle of Wight and Needles. That's Needles Point and Needles Lighthouse. So we've been over there. So we should recognize that. This has only been recently um, fixed this was stood on um, a few years ago anyway. Back in 2014 on Valentine's Eve, and this was hit by a storm and it was leveled out near enough. Wow. Because that cafe down there, the white building, yep. they had to get the army to rescue them. Right. It was hit by stones and rocks. Wow. All the beach huts have just been rebuilt down there. We also get some uh, inside history with hidden history with Ray because he used to live just down the road. Yeah. This was his stomping ground. I've got some pictures of uh, the damage as well. Wow. Just here, actually. So that's where we're off. So that lighthouse is just on the edge point of where you'd come through here in boats. So you'll have seen that in the drone footage, but it's very picturesque, very nice. But I am today fully prepared. Because last time I walked along one of these pub, oh, <laughs> whacking myself. Last time I walked along one of these puppies, I was wearing a baseball cap and I didn't have a big thick coat. I got thermals, proper coat, proper hat. It's windy now. So once that temperature starts dropping later on, I do not want to repeat performance of Orford Ness. So I am prepared. I am prepared for anything. So, oh yeah, we're, we're both going to go for a pee now. So we'll see you when we get a bit, bit closer. 12 seconds later. So we've got a bit further down the road now, as you can see, beautiful view. Oh, and the marshlands, yes, and the marshlands. Yeah, beautiful view. Uh, so yeah, this is it. We've come quite a way now. We've got, uh, got a nice view behind us. It's great, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, so let's get to see Hurst Castle. Looks like a bit of a beast to try and get up. You know, you see it in the drone footage, you think, oh, it's pretty small in those little windows. I'll just climb up there, just reach my hand over the top. I'll be able to just get up there. It's bloody about 30 foot high. <laughs> yeah, it's quite fortified. Don't think you're gonna get in this place easy, folks. It's not gonna happen. But if the wall falls down the back, you never know. 14. 14? Oh. Oh, yeah, it seems like we've been at least half an hour, I would have thought. Not bad. Making good time. I'm going to come back here with my uh, electric bike, I think, and give it a good old uh, high speed 
360 experience yeah mm, even the bloody you know the the lighthouse looks like a little pencil it's actually quite chunky you know it's surprising when you're flying a drone everything looks small underneath you but these things are not small it's pretty big so there it is again folks Tyler White amazing nice stuff so you can just see the reflection of the see the reflection of the uh, lighthouse that's the word when I'm walking sometimes my brain gets adrenalized and it's like that's the um, the uh, the Sun and uh, the beach <laughs> uh, so coming up on the port now and it's got those things on the top which are like the ones we saw at the Solent Spit Forts yeah little watchtowers that they built up on top which are obviously not part of the original uh, setup but probably wartime you know to keep a keep a lookout it's nice to see one that looks intact got some glass in it probably could still be used to this day I imagine for wandering up and having a look yeah look at this amazing and there's the needles now as we're sort of coming up into the into the inlet really of the Solent so Question is, are they as bad at doing it as they have in a few last few places? Now this is where I get really pissed off because four security guards in this section we were just about to come to were standing right next to a fence which enabled them to see the damage. So clearly it wasn't dangerous if they were standing there. So we said, can we see the damage? Because from where we are, we can't even see it where the fences have been placed because they've been placed such a far distance away that we're not able to see it from any position. Funny that, isn't it? Oh, I just meant by the fence, I don't mean any further. Okay. We just make it as safe as we can. Yeah, no problem. So we actually asked when we got close to Hearst Castle and they had Harris fence up to stop us getting close. We said, is it possible we could come where you're standing right now, there where we could get a view of the damage? And they said, no, you can't, it's too dangerous. Whilst the whole time standing where they tell us we can't look. Mmm. So as you can guess at this point, I thought, I'm going to take a look anyway. But how can you do that when there's security in the way? I'll show you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and you don't own the sea. Anything from up there? Well, 
Well, there we are then. That's the. No, we don't. <laughs> well, I I have a boat, and I know all about. I'd rather walk it. So anyway, yeah, it's only the beach upwards you have to worry about. It's only, have, it's only the beach upwards you have to worry about. It's quite a nice day for it, really, anyway. I mean, you could have let us have a look like we wanted to, but you didn't want to, so... You didn't want to let us have a look the easy way, did you? So, there we are. And it's so dangerous there, they're just letting their dog run down the front. Here we have them now, all on their phones, ringing the police, ringing the Coast Guard, ringing Batman, ringing Spider-Man, anyone they can get hold of whilst trying to intimidate when I'm not anywhere on their property and they can't actually tell me what to do. So don't be bullied by these people. Yeah, if you want to go and have a look, go and get some waders. Or why don't they just put the Harris fencing a little bit further forward so people can see then you wouldn't get arseholes like me doing what i'm doing right now a english heritage You're welcome to join me if you want to come in, it's nice. No, 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 no. Law says that anything from the beach down. Well, you can, you can, sh you can shout about it as much as you want. No, no, thanks, no, thanks. You don't own the sea. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you should have let us come that way then, shouldn't you? Yeah, you should have let me come that way. I don't I don't have I don't have to ask your permission to be down here. Thank you very much. Nope. Okay. So anyway, yeah, the security obviously don't want us here, but uh, that's not gonna happen, is it? and masonry in the water there, look.
is Ray. He decided to uh, bottle it. <laughs> Don't blame him though. Yeah, fair shout. <laughs> Are you local? They could decide to get a bit arsy with us when we go past them now. So we'll have to be filming. Yeah. What do you reckon that then? Do you hear him shouting at me? Yeah, filming. Yeah. So we've basically got evidence. I mean, they're like, you can't go in there. This belongs to them. I said, it doesn't, it's the sea. It doesn't belong to anyone, the yeah, sea. It yeah, belongs to the Coast Guard, is it? Right, well, that's the majesty, isn't it? That's it belongs to us. So. Oh dear. That's, a, that's the worst excuse I've heard in years, mate. Here's the phone went off, that's why I couldn't come in with you, even though I did have all my gear ready, but my phone went off. And I chipping down. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright, it's fully understandable. I was taking a piss a little bit. Gotta watch him now. I just say, look, you know, boys, if you're gonna make people not see anything, what do you expect? Let them stand a bit closer, you're standing there. You know. They're probably called Coast Guard and the police and everybody and they're just like, no, no, no. All oh, right. You heard him speaking to him, did you? I heard him as soon as he got Yeah. I wouldn't have gone past people at this time. Yeah. Watch out, they might ring the phone, they might phone the police on you. Be careful, they could phone the police on you. <laughs> Get out. You can't say I didn't try. You can't say I didn't try. I'm a little, I'm a little tinker, really. But there we go. No, uh, no egos bruised. Just uh, laws being stood up for and not taking bullshit. Just because some security guard's shouting at you. Excuse me. Excuse me. You have to go around now. That's it. You know, because of the law. What law is that then? The law, the Coast Guard of the Coast Guard of the United States of the, um, uh, Russia. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Whatever. In it. I can smell skunk, then. Yeah. So we smoking skunk. Not me. So we've got to keep the cameras handy now in case it decides to start getting a bit argy bargy. Which way? Much yeah, and if they start getting argy bargy, it's gonna be fill me, will me. So, they come after me, and you want to like split off, mate. You feel free. Yep, yeah. there's one heading down. As soon as they start filming, filming, I was like, I'm a oh, they just they just want evidence in case something goes wrong, that's all it is. At least they didn't start throwing crap at you though. Yeah. Get a Megaphones. See, now they won't let people go that little bit further so they can see it. And then they wonder why people start getting pissy then. There they are. Whew. It's a nice uh, thingy. One thing I did learn is uh, glue my lens on. 
Yeah, glue the lens on, it's good. Just lucky I was out of the water when it fell off. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> so, I'm going to turn it off in case we need to film shit. We're on our way out now. Hidden history of Ray. He's working his way up to full madhood. Yeah. But small steps in it. Don't like you know like with me small steps and you don't fall over in the water i'm a bit of a wimp i will put my hands up with that for that nah it's all right isn't it local man it's a so all we need to do now is steal a boat and we can get up there much quicker steal a boat oh, nice. yeah, it's good to do yeah man No, I went down into the water before I passed that point. So, we, we, asked, we, said no. we asked him, he said no, so we had to go in the water, which is legal. But as I said to Steve just a minute ago, if they want to keep things safe, they should have done this years ago so you could swim up around it. Yeah. I'm getting pissy that we're going to have a look because they won't let people go that little bit closer to have a look, which they could at any other time of the year, they could go closer to have a look. But, no. So, anyway. There we go, folks. I've had my uh, my fill of adrenaline for the day. There you go. Don't take no for an answer. Just because security guards tell you this, that this is this and that is that, doesn't mean it really is that way. So and that's Kestrel, <laughs> nil. That's two now. <laughs> three. Okay, so that's three. Yeah. Three to us, Kestrel zero. Oh, I'm hot. I'm so hot, man. I'm gonna have to take my shit off. It's just like this um, waders, man. They're just too much. I'm sweating bollocks now. Yeah, here we are. This is where we change now, back into normal human clothing. I thought that was the police area, it's just a bloody security van. But, uh, backup. We need more backup. Yep. Yeah, so there we are. There they go. Not the police, so that's good, because they won't be able to identify us easily now. So as you've seen, waders are effective, and also these lazy bastards who need four security, really. Yeah, four, four people at that end. Oh, wow. Yeah, really. Jobs for the boys, eh? And uh, they don't want to get their feet wet. So, yeah, with um, some of the stuff we've done recently, the Daily Echo, Kestrel Security, we, we're, all, we're all over the place like a rash um, with another place, a police station. Uh, no names mentioned yet because we haven't put the video out all over that like a rash. So Kestrel Security, not very effective. Thank you very much. Three to Secret Vault, none to Kestrel Security. Let's have some drone footage. <laughs>